Good morning, children. Today, we will learn about force, work and energy. Children, as we all know, our daily lives involve numerous tasks such as cleaning the house, working at a factory or office or playing in the field. And all these activities include several movements that need you to push or pull the objects that may react differently. Yes, these activities can either set an object in motion, it can make an object move or shift its direction, change its shape or put that object back into the resting position. And this movement of push and pull applied on an object is called force. Force is the push or pull applied on an object. For example, if you hold a chair and move it away, then it is a push. Or if you want to take that chair towards yourself, then it is a pull. There are different effects of force. It can move a stationary object or stop a moving object. So, force can make an object either move or it can also stop a moving object. Also, force can change the speed and direction of the moving object. But if enough force is applied, lots and lots of force is applied, then it can also change the shape or size of an object. Children, we all come across with so many work in our daily routine. So come on. Let's have a look on different types of forces. Muscular force. A muscular force is the force applied using parts of the body like your arms or legs. It is the force that results due to the action of your muscles. Muscular force is needed whenever movement of the body occurs. For example, walking, lifting kicking a ball, moving a table, and so many things. Next is your gravitational force. As we all know, gravity is that invisible force that pulls object towards each other. Earth's gravity is what keeps us on the ground and what makes things fall. Every object in the universe attracts the object near it and this force of attraction is called gravitational force. It depends on the size of the object. It is the earth's gravity that pulls object towards the earth and keeps them from flying away into space. For example, when you throw a ball high up in the air and it comes back to the earth. The falling of a fruit, falling of leaves from a tree. All these are gravitational force. A frictional force. What do you mean by friction? Friction is the force that slows down or prevents any motion of an object. I know you didn't understood. Okay, I am telling you. For example, if you take a toy car and just Make it move on a smooth surface. After some time, you will see the car will stop. The toy car, after going to some distance, it will stop. This is because of friction. It acts in the direction which is opposite to the direction of the movement and it stops the toy car after some time. Smooth surface causes less friction in comparison to rough surfaces. In our daily life, friction is very important because it is needed for us to give us a break. It is needed if you are walking on any surface or you are just riding a bicycle, then you need friction for brakes to work in your bicycle. Without friction, anything that is moving will never stop by itself. 
so frictional force is very important force elastic force as we are very much familiar with this term elastic it means something that is elastic can return to its original shape after being stretched or compressed and this force is called elastic force mechanical forces are those forces which involve contact with other object on which the force is applied it includes bending or breaking of things so basically a force that involves contact with another object and which produces a change in state of rest or motion is called mechanical force for example closing the door of the house when we want to close the door we first make contact with the door that is in the initial state of rest of the door it is in the rest position and it is changed and then it moves so that it can close so this is an simple example of a mechanical force so my dear children i hope you have understood the force and types of force if you have missed anything then please watch my video again thank you